a brother made me aware of this website, sent me the link to it, and um, just want to address this whole thing here. This is a website called statsmash.com, and it says here, KJVM Brian Nenninger Net Worth. It says my YouTube channel name is, it says, is a YouTube channel that has a net worth of $8,000 as of November 2020. Um, that's a problem because my channel is not monetized. Um, you can see there your estimated revenue right here is there isn't any because my channel is not monetized. But what YouTube has done to me for years, uh, they will put ads on videos where I have music. And I own the rights to the music. I have the licenses and everything else. Problem is that the music, um, royal, royal, it was royaltyfreemusic.com, uh, and they sold out to another, I think, Getty Images, Getty Music or something. And so now I guess they don't recognize my copyright, my licensing, and whatever else. So now they monetize my videos on YouTube. So apparently I'm earning YouTube $8,000 because I didn't, there's no money like that coming to me. Um, I don't know exactly, I guess it's just what my net worth is to YouTube, it's $8,000. Uh, my other channel here, my backup channel, is net worth is, <clears throat> excuse me, my net worth is zero. So, uh, not a whole lot there, but I'll show you this, this is kind of an interesting thing. Robert Faker Breaker. Net worth is $81,000. Hmm. Show you an even better one. How about real Bible believers? Gene Kim, $115,000 net worth to YouTube. So, hey, yeah, that's pretty good money for YouTube there, apparently. Um, so I just found that very interesting that these two guys that are supposedly King James Bible believers are worth a whole lot of money to YouTube, and of course they both are monetized. Again, somebody says, well, uh, I don't think that they're monetized. Gene Kim isn't monetized. Well, explain that to me. So, just found that kind of an interesting thing.